Years ago, when India's space agency ISRO launched the Mangalyaan into orbit around Mars on one of the smallest budgets ever, the New York Times ran a cartoon that appeared to mock India's space program. Fast forward to the 14th of July 2023, ISRO made headlines worldwide with the successful launch of Chandrayaan-3 aiming to explore the moon's mysteries. With a budget of 615 crores, this mission aims to rectify the shortcomings of its predecessor Chandrayaan-2 and further India's progress in space exploration. But why is a poor country like India investing in space? Do we even need ISRO? Shouldn't we concentrate on Earth first? Can India afford a space program? The critics won't shut up. Let's look at the significance of Chandrayaan's mission. Chandrayaan 3's mission is not just about reaching the moon, it's about reaching new heights for India. On August 23rd, 2023, the lander and rover are set to touch down near the lunar South Pole region, making India the fourth country to achieve this feat. And it doesn't stop here. The Chandrayaan-3 mission is a significant advancement in India's space exploration efforts. It will expand our understanding of the moon's potential for future exploration and exploitation. It will promote technological advancement, inspire young scientists and strengthen international relationships. But the benefits extend beyond the realm of science and discovery. Chandrayaan-3 will create jobs, boost exports and entice foreign investments. It will help advance and demonstrate new technologies that can be used in various industries, accelerating progress across the board. ISRO's success is paving the way for other Indian space startups right here on Earth. That's right, this mission is expected to open doors for private space startups in India. ISRO has been actively working to promote private participation in the space sector and Chandrayaan-3 is a significant step forward. The global space economy is currently valued at 360 billion US dollars, with India contributing roughly 2% of it. Over the next five years, this sector is expected to grow at an astounding 48% CAGR, reaching 50 billion US dollars in India. To tap into this potential, private participation is very crucial. Chandrayaan-3 is a major stride towards making India a key player in the global space economy. It will create a vibrant ecosystem for private space startups, propelling India closer to its ambitious space goals. And now, let's address the question many skeptics ask. Do we really need ISRO? ISRO's budget is only 0.8% of India's GDP, a small percentage. The benefits of ISRO's activities far outweigh the costs. Here's why we need ISRO. ISRO's firm pursuit of space exploration and satellite technology has established India as a significant player in the international space industry. Remember how ISRO successfully launched 104 satellites in a single mission? 101 out of them were foreign satellites. Even other countries want a piece of our pie now. ISRO's satellites help monitor neighboring countries, track activities and gather intelligence, ensuring India's sovereignty and strategic planning. Not to mention that ISRO satellites were used to monitor China's military buildup in the Himalayas. Our neighbors are damn intrusive. ISRO satellites and early warning systems help to monitor natural disasters and provide timely warnings to authorities, which has helped to save lives and reduce the impact of disasters. For instance, ISRO satellites were used to track the progress of Cyclone Funny, which hit Odisha in 2019. ISRO's satellite-based applications benefit India's agricultural practices, water resource management, weather forecasting and disaster management leading to increased crop yields and resource utilization efficiency. ISRO's communication satellites has revolutionized India's communication infrastructure, enabling telecommunication services, internet connectivity and nationwide broadcasting. Through missions such as Chandrayaan and Mangalyaan, ISRO has made significant contributions to scientific research and space exploration. These have advanced our understanding of celestial bodies, expanding human knowledge and inspiring scientific innovation. 
ISRO actively collaborates with other countries and organizations that promote scientific exchange, technological cooperation and diplomatic relations, thereby improving India's global standing. India's soft power is increasing. ISRO's activities help India's economy grow and create jobs. Satellite launches, commercial applications and technology transfers have the potential to generate substantial revenue, thereby boosting economic prosperity. Why should only Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos have all the fun? Who would have thought that the nation that transported its first rocket components on a cycle would go on to become a proud participant in space exploration? India's future is indeed being shaped by ISRO's efforts. Meanwhile, we wish ISRO luck and encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Send this video to people who say, Oh, but, but do we really need ISRO? <laughs>